What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more MK11 news. I'm your host, as always, Ragnarok Tier slash FGC, and it has been a very long day. I am literally just now walking in the door. I know I look very uh, tired and disheveled. It has been a long day. <laughs> but that's okay, because we are here live with Mortal Kombat 11. Now, I have... I was stuck in meetings all afternoon, so I could not watch the trailer. I could not watch the combat cast, much like last time they did this. I keep getting scheduled on these really weird shifts and whatnot for meetings. I hate downtown meetings. So I have not seen or heard anything to do with MK11 today. I specifically put my phone in airplane mode. It has been that way all day. Just so you guys know I'm not cheating. Uh, bam, look at that. Look at old school Ermac. All these notifications... These are Twitter tags, Facebook tags, everything. There's 12, 15 Twitters, a couple YouTube tags, 24 Facebook tags. So I'm assuming that either Frost was revealed today and people are like, hey, Frost, you're excited, right? Because you like Frost. I do like Frost. And I predicted Frost back in 2017 and then 2018. I've been periodically saying Frost is probably going to be an MK11. And if you don't believe me, some of you YouTube commenters, go back and look at our tweets. Just Ragnarok underscore FTC, Frost. And you'll see all the little screenshots, and et cetera, et cetera. So either Frost has been revealed, and everyone's like, hey, Frost, your character, right? Cool. Or Jade has been revealed, and everyone in the Jade community who I have been blowing up, more or less, for the last umpteen months, is basically tagging me, and yeah, yeah, we got Jade, whatever. So, uh, early predictions without seeing anything. Uh, this is the actual live broadcast. You can see the Twitch shits down there. I'm, I'm just going to watch the broadcast. Um, if it's Jade, and I'm assuming it is because they said last week it was not going to be Devora, and Ed Boon tweeted it is a fan favorite. And while most people think that's probably Katana, that seems too obvious even for Boon unless he's trying to get us to think it's too obvious and he's reverse trolling us with the truth. And Jade, eh, fan favorite, I guess, whatever. So, I, you know, Jade, Sindel, Kitana, any one of those three, maybe all three, who fucking knows. Let's just watch the cast and see who it is. Frost, you know, I like Frost. Rain, Noob, Cybot, and Frost. Those are the characters I'm looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. Do, 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 Hopefully that their, their live trailer had better sound coordination than the Cabal one did. World Combat 11. We're very excited to have you all here. We have this, the crew here again, as usual. We'll get to them in a moment. Hey, Tyler. Some big stuff happening, everybody. we got some cool stuff to show you. Today. Here we go. What happened with Scarlet? Like, mm -hmm. So I'm super happy for the old Jade fans, the, the OG Jade fans. The Jade. Fader for like 20 years. Fuck. I think they're going to be stoked. The ones that have been nagging us to. Yes. Where's Jade? Where's Jade? Yeah, Where's Jade? yeah Where exactly. A lot, what a lot of Where are y'all in MK9? <laughs> so I think without further ado. There's like three Jade players. Just, uh, we should get to it, right? In tournament, I know there's a lot more casual Jade players, but... Alright, let's see what she got. Jade, I'm imagining a mid-range character, lots of pole moves, pole dancing. She's okay, she's Revenant still, that makes sense. You seem confident. Cowards will overwhelm you. Now you seem overconfident. It's weird that we didn't even see her mentioned in the MKX storyline. Oh, man, Goro dead in the background? Okay, so she has a parry into a teleport. A little enchantressy with that move. Alright. Yep, the classic Jade run through projectiles. God damn. Okay. Jesus. Alright. So low overhead. Looking like Donatella with that string. Glaives. Alright, that's Mournful Katana, a.k.a. Jade, from MKX. Nice duck. So yeah, very good so far looking mid-range buttons. Looks like very effective from about three or four steps out. Little combo star. Lots of multi-hitting strings. Makes me wonder how safe on block they're going to be. Another teleport. So, okay, so she has a teleport. I don't remember her teleporting in old games. Maybe I'm... New ability she picked up somewhere along the line. Jesus, in the fucking here. Finish him. She looks good. I'll give her that. She does look good. Yeah. Bad. 
Now that's just... <laughs> that's awesome. That's funny. What's the outro pose? That's a... a throw it and then... Get, okay, I mean, hey, that's a way to go. She looks good. She looks like the, the little... Uh, the gold nails she's got for claws. I like that. So she's obviously still dead. She's not possessed. So she's still a revenant. Miss scroll. Can I go back? She has some kind of enchantressy things about her with the way her teleport looks like it works as far as the way enchantress would parry something into a teleport. Um, very good, very effective looking mid-range character. So she has the old school, you know, she runs through projectiles. Looks like it has pretty good duration on it too. She ran through both projectiles, it's still going. Makes me wonder how long of a cooldown it's going to have too. Uh, let's see. So that looks like it could be an overhead. Possibly. We don't know yet, obviously. Um, overhead. A lot of multi-hitting strings. That's the first parry. Decent knockdown advantage, it looks like. That's probably the fatal blow. Or crushing blow on her throw. Guess in the wrong direction or something. It's almost like they took Mournful Katana with a splash of Donatello from Injustice 2. And then Mournful, or yeah, Mournful Katana from MKX, aka Jade, Donatello, and just a little, an, an essence of Enchantress, as far as like the way she looks and moves. So she has a projectile reflect too, interesting. Makes me wonder which of these are going to be like the custom variation moves and which ones are actually built into her variations. Or you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm still tired. Rush hour traffic. Double hitting glaives. Teleport into what looks like a low. It could be an overhead crushing blow, maybe. Or f fatal blow. They. I wish they gave them two different, like two completely different names instead of like crushing blow and fatal blow. She looks good. She definitely looks good. She looks a lot better than she has in previous MK games. Like she almost looks like a character I would look at. But nah. Now, what I expect after this, I want to see an armada of Jade players online. I better not be able to throw a rock online without hitting a Jade player. All the times these mother... These players were sitting there, when's Jade? Why isn't Jade an MKX? Why are they at... Like, nah, I better see a whole bunch of you Jade players. And Sindel players too, y'all ain't getting off easy. She looks good. You have no excuse now. Unless she's ass. And even then, All no right. excuse. There was Jade, yes? Awesome. Excitement? Yeah, super excited. Now, Steve, we've, we've created a little thing for you. Okay. I don't know if you've seen it yet. Uh, it's now time for Steve's so Lore Minute. Well, my Lore Minute for this, <laughs> for this one will be that while she is an excellent combatant, mm -hmm. Jade is also a spy and assassin. And no she other trailers, it looks like. Without even doing the dirty work herself. For example, she once sprayed Tanya with a jar of Tarkatan Essence. And the Tarkatan Horde mauled Tanya and tore him apart. I remember that ending. didn't even have to touch Tanya. That was that MK Deception, I believe. Totally sneaky. hands off. Yeah. Awesome. Very that's, sneaky. That's back when they were using title so, cards as endings. Yeah, I wish they'd stop doing that, by the way. Steve's lore minute. Steve's lore I want, like, cinematic Steve's endings with these games. We do need a theme song. We deserve uh, them. So, let's talk a little bit about Jade real quick before we get into the gameplay and explaining how Jade works. All right. Uh, Derek. Yes. You worked a lot on Jade. Yes. So, kind of tell me, walk me through, and the fans... Well... I'm assuming at this point you guys have already seen this. I haven't. I'm going to watch it. You guys, leave. let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being too hard on the Jade community? <laughs> let me know what you guys think about Jade. I think she looks good. Probably not going to play her, but she looks like a very effective mid-range character. Uh, are you a Jade fan? You better be playing her. Do you not care about Jade? What character are you looking forward to next? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time with some more Mortal Kombat 11 news when we get it. Hopefully it'll be Frost, or Rain, or Noob Cybot, or Ermac. Pennywise? <laughs>